Good morning. Happy Wednesday morning. So if you saw my Instagram post yesterday, you saw that I did a little Ulta and Sephora makeup haul. So I just thought I would show you guys and share with you guys the products I got. I think every single product I got is new. Like I've never gotten it before, never tried it. So I was starting to run low on some of my products. And I also needed to run and go get some travel products because I'm going to be headed to LA in just a couple weeks and I love taking travel size products instead of full size products. Um, I can't share why I'm going to LA yet. I'm not allowed to yet, but I will definitely share with you guys why and for what on my Instagram or Instagram story. So stay tuned for that. But let's get right into the shopping haul. So. Let me start with the basics and we'll work our way up to like the more exciting things, I guess. I don't know if that is even a thing, but anyways, so I always have makeup wipes on me. So this isn't makeup, but I always get them at TJ Maxx. They're usually like pretty cheap, like $3.99, but I found these lemon ones and oh my gosh, you guys, they smell so good. They say vitamin C and antioxidants that they have that in the wipes, I guess. I don't know if that's true or not. But I love the smell and lately I like love anything like with that lemon scent like it just smells so fresh and clean. I used to hate lemon and like lime stuff but I'm like totally digging lemon th these days. So anyways, these are pretty cool so far. I like them. I use them a lot every night in the mornings. Okay. So the next thing, I guess we'll stay with TJ Maxx. I said Ulta and Sephora, but I did pick the makeup wipes up at TJ Maxx. And of course, if you guys have watched my Instagram stories, you know that I get my lashes there too. And I can, these are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite lashes ever in the history of ever. I am in love with these lashes and I only find them at TJ Maxx. Nowhere else. Marshalls has them too sometimes because they're kind of similar, you know. So, um, these are, the brand is Lashes for Days. And these ones are the high drama lashes and they look like this. They're very dramatic. They've got like the big gaps in between, but so they're just very full and glamorous. And then these are very glamorous too, but these are called the Glam Wispies, which actually I'm kind of starting to dig these more than the high drama ones. I don't know. I think I just like the wispiness and how long these are, but these are actually the ones I'm wearing today. So you can see they're just very like wispy and long and like they open up your eye and make it look so full. But that is what these look like. These were $7.99. Oh, Marshalls. Never mind. I had to get these ones at Marshalls this time. That's right, because I went to TJ Maxx. They were completely out of them, and I was like, no, please tell me that they have them. It's so random when you find them there, just like it is with anything else you find at TJ Maxx. So then I went to Marshalls, like, oh my gosh, please let have Marshalls have them. And sure enough, they had them, thank goodness, because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. These are like my favorite. And like, I haven't been able to find them online, only in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So Basically, when I find them there, I try to get several packs. They only literally had these two packs, so I just grabbed these two. This will last me a while because I can literally wear my lashes for like at least two weeks, sometimes more. Usually by the end of two weeks, they're just getting kind of gunky because I peel the glue off every morning before I reapply them. So sometimes after about two weeks, when you start peeling the glue off, you start peeling the lashes off too because they get weaker and weaker. So then you just kind of have to toss them after that. But it is cool because I do get a long wear out of one pair, which is nice. So let's move on to, hmm, we'll go with Ulta first. So I, oh my gosh, first of all, let's talk about how Ulta has ColourPop and uh, Morphe now. Thank goodness. Well, it depends on where you're located. If you're located in a bigger city, you guys probably had it way before us, but our, our Ulta in Roanoke, Virginia is a lot smaller and mm, I don't know. It's not that new, I guess, anymore. But anyways, I feel like we get stuff last. So anyways, we in Roanoke, Virginia have ColourPop and Morphe now. So I'm so excited about that because ColourPop and Morphe are like amazing because they have great makeup products for very reasonable and affordable prices. So, mm, end of story. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, 
I picked up one of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer colors. Now I wanted it super duper light because I like to highlight with it. So I'll like put it under my eye to brighten it up or like right here when I contour or you know any. Anyway, so I wanted it super light. So I got the shade Fair 02. I've used it for two days now and I can't say I'm super crazy about it. It is very thick, which is nice, but my skin tends to be more on the dry side. So I think that's probably why I'm not loving this. I think I need to moisturize more before I put this on, which I usually do. And I usually do a primer, but I'll try it again. But right now I wasn't crazy for it. The past two days I've worn it because I feel like at the end of the day, it starts to look kind of splotchy and cakey under my eyes a little bit and makes it kind of look more dry under there. That's just what I've experienced the last two days. But also it is super light, so I almost wonder if I do get a little bit of a darker color, if maybe it will, it won't look that way. But it is nice. I think it was only like six or eight dollars, which is very good for a concealer that's very affordable. So I would try it again. I think I'll get, if I got one closer to my color, to like actually conceal and cover blemishes and spots with, I think I would actually like it better. But for highlighting, I don't think I like it for that. But anyways, definitely worth a try. It's pretty good other than, you know, making my skin look dry. And then I wanted to try some of their lipstick colors, but they were out of like everything. Oh my gosh, and their highlighters, guys. Let's just talk about their highlighters for a second. Okay, ColourPop has amazing highlighters. Like, they are so creamy and soft and it's hard to explain. It's like, they're not a cream, but they're not a powder. They're just so like buttery. Like, I, I don't know. That's the best word I can use to explain it. But I would like apply it with a, a, bl a, a brush. I would apply it with a brush because I feel like it would apply very good with the brush. But I'm definitely going to be going back to get one of their highlighters. And I forget the name of the one I wanted to try. But they're only like 6 or $8 again. Very affordable. And oh my God. They are just so pretty, but of course they were out of all of them. So anyways, I couldn't get the highlight and I couldn't get the lipstick. So, but they did somehow have this beautiful eyeshadow palette. It's called, so it's ColourPop, of course. And the palette is called Fame. Look at these colors, you guys. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. Literally gorgeous. There's like some shimmers and then you got really nice, pretty like neutral colors. I'm actually wearing the eyeshadow color today. I don't know how good you guys can see, but I used the color Celeb, which is like a really bright pinky color. And then I used the, uh, this other color on my whole lid called Debonte, I guess is what it's called. And then the first color I applied was called Center Stage, just to kind of set you know, and give it a little bit more brightness up here. So I am wearing those colors today, but oh my gosh, guys, they're so pigmented. Let me just swatch a couple. Let me swatch one right here. I don't know how well you guys can see this in the light. Let me swatch. This one's really pretty too, Clubhouse. It's like a really matte, nude, purpley color. It is so pretty. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I'll swatch it like right here. But they're, they're pretty pigmented for, and this palette was like $22, which is very good for all those. But I also liked how small it was because again, I'm going to be traveling some of the next couple weeks. So I like small sizes. It's just easier to travel with versus having like these big giant palettes, which is like all my other palettes are just like this big and like they're just hard to shove in your makeup bag you know what I'm saying so I'm excited about this like the colors are just gorgeous oh my gosh you guys like seriously they are so pretty anyways okay and the last thing I got at Ulta was this Milani lipstick I've never tried Milani lipsticks before so I wasn't sure like how it was gonna look or like how I was gonna wear feel any of that so I I usually wear NYX their NYX liquid suede and I like it it stays on pretty good but it comes off easy 
Um, but usually I can wear it most of the day, even when I eat and drink. I mean, it comes off some and by the end of the day it's mostly off, but it still looks good and it's still there. Um, and of course I could reapply it if I wanted it to stay bold all day. But anyways, they were out of all the good colors at NYX. I mean, Arlta, they're always out of stuff. It's like, oh. so anyways, I'd find something else. So I asked the girl there if she'd try this and she said, yeah, she loved it and it felt good. Enough. So I'm actually wearing this color today. It looks really good on, like it looks very like velvety and it's, it's got a matte finish, but it's very like velvety on the lips. Like it looks, it looks good. Uh, this shade is 02, it's called Lux. So this is like the second time I've worn it and I think I like it a little bit better today and maybe I just like it better because it goes better with what else I have going on in my face right now. But the other day it looked kind of like purpley and I kind of like it looking a little bit more on the pink side. So I like it better today. It's more nude-ish, pinkish with a slight hint of purple in it. But it's a great nude neutral color. So, so far I like it. Um, it feels good on my lips. It doesn't feel super like, make them feel super stiff and dry, which I hate that in a lipstick. Um, it's definitely going to stay on really good. And that's what the girl told me too. She said it stays on really well, which I can definitely, it does. Um, so yeah, pretty good. And I don't remember how much this was, but, um, it wasn't super expensive. So yeah, kind of digging the Milani lipstick, you know? Okay. Now on to Sephora. So I didn't, okay. Let's start with this foundation, the Makeup Forever HD. So I didn't just purchase this the other day. I purchased this uh, a couple weeks ago, but I figured I would just share with you guys anyways. So I had tried Makeup Forever HD, it's been a while ago, and I thought I remembered that I liked it, um, but it doesn't give as much coverage as I would like. It's definitely not a full coverage, and I think maybe I had clearer skin when I was using it the last time, so that's probably why I liked it. But lately, I have not had the clearest of skin. I don't know if it's just from... It's from multiple things, probably, you know, we just finished building our house, so I was doing a lot of work, probably some, you know, lots of stress, eating differently, whatever. So anyways, my face, you, I don't know, you probably can't see it on camera as much, but it's like been breaking out pretty bad on this side and a little bit up here. So we working on it, it's getting better, but you know, so anyways, this is not the best for full coverage. It's just not, it's really light and it wears off by the end of the day, so I'm probably gonna be returning this to get something else because I just need something with a little bit more full coverage. So I'm probably gonna try like the NARS or probably NARS. That's what I have on today, the NARS. I got like a little sample when I went the other day to try it because I always like to try a foundation before I buy it and wear it on my face to see how it wears. And Sephora is really cool because you can go in there and try samples of anything before you purchase it. So I did try the NARS. So I have it on and I love how it finished. like. It gave a really nice finish and I'm just hoping it stays and wears all day. So I'm going to wear it today and see how I like it. But um, I've heard good things about it. I've never, I love the NARS um, concealer stick. Oh, so good. But um, never tried the foundation. So we're going to see how I like it. And if I like it, I'm probably going to get that one. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. And I was running out of setting spray, which setting spray is like everything. You know what I'm saying? Like got to have setting spray. It just makes... My makeup stay on so good all day long. It's amazing. So I, again, travel sizes because I'm about to travel, got the Glam Glow. Uh, it's called Glow Setter, which is a setting spray. And I actually just used it today for the first time, but I love how it sprays out. It's like a very super fine mist and it just like covers my face nice and evenly and mist out, which I love about that because a lot of setting sprays that I get and have used, they almost like jet out too much and the spray is like too heavy on your face and you like spray it on and then you look in the mirror and you're like, you look like you just got rained on and you're like, like dry quickly before my mascara gets on my skin underneath my eyes. But this one is just like a very fine mist and it just like goes on really nice and evenly and dries very quickly, which I like. So that's the first plus. I'll let you guys know how it works, but I've heard good things about it. And I freaking love Glam Glow. Like, I don't know if you guys have tried any of 
the other Glam Glow products, but like I've used their moisturizer, which is so, so good. And it smells amazing. And this actually smells kind of like their moisturizer. Oh my gosh. It's such a good, like coconutty beachy smell. Um, it's just so good. It's just so good. So anyways, I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how I like this and how it keeps my makeup on all day. So also I had some points accrued and you know, for every purchase at Sephora, you get points. And then for like every 100 points, you can start getting free samples of things. So I had some points. And so I decided to try this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray. So it's another setting spray. Um, so I used this one yesterday and I'm definitely gonna have to use it more before I give like a full review of how it really works and how I like it. Um, I like how it sprays out, it sprays out nice too. Um, I guess it kept my makeup on pretty good yesterday, but again, I need to use it more before I like really give you guys the full recommendation of how well it works. But I've heard good things about it, so I'm excited about this. So I got another little setting spray. And then I also got this for free too with my points. It's a Make It Forever HD um, lip color. And this is called Artist Liquid Matte. So I guess the shade name is called Artist. I It's, it's funny because it looks very close to the Milani when it's in the bottle. But then when you actually put the Makeup Forever HD on, it's more purpley, like really kind of deeper purple. So I don't think I'm gonna wear this one because I don't know, I'm just not digging the purple on me. You know what I mean? I just like it more nudey, pinky color. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. So yeah, it, I almost felt like this was kind of like thick on my lips too, like just really thick and like really drying and my lips are already dry enough right now. So eh not in love with the color. So anyways, moving on. Also, I got my primer and I've used, okay, this one I have used so many times. It's the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer and it's so good. Like seriously, it is so good. You put it on your skin before you put your foundation, your concealer, and you know, all your other makeup on and it just feels like butter on your skin. It's like, mm, so soft, feels so good. And it's supposed to help blur all the pores and like make your skin tone look really even and like smooth and flawless when your foundation goes on. And it also helps to keep your makeup on as well. So I love that one. I always purchase it. Um, this is a travel size, which is a really good size for a travel size, I think. And it lasts me a while. Um, so got that also. And then because I bought three travel products, Sephora gave me a free little plastic travel bag, which these are always good to have. I love these little plastic travel bags. Like they are so nice when you're um, traveling, especially like flying, because I love putting my makeup in these because when you fly, you know, there's a lot of pressure in the, the, the airplane. So a lot of times products can explode or whatever, make a mess. So these are easy to clean out. Like if, you know, you spill makeup in these, you can wash these out. They're plastic. They're easy to clean. And they're also so cheap. You can throw them away if you just want to throw them away. And um, I'll still take my bigger makeup bag and then I can just like slide this in my cuter makeup bag. You know what I'm saying? But then this keeps all the makeup protected. So if it does leak or spill on the plane, it's in this plastic bag, which is, you know, easy to clean. So those are always nice for traveling too. So I think that is all the products that I got the other day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, makeup haul. Not really a tutorial, it's just a makeup haul. So if you guys want me to do more or if you have any video suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below and be sure to connect with me on the Instagram at Megan.Lorson. I would love to connect with you guys on there. So be sure to message me and let me know if you guys have any other video suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.